What's going on guys, Zigablaze here with episode 2 of my Black Ops 3 Specialist Guide series. Today we're going to be covering Outrider. Outrider's specialist ability is the Vision Pulse, which allows you to see your enemies through walls, but it also allows you to see enemies pinged on your radar if they're within your vicinity. I found the Vision Pulse to be most useful in game modes that didn't give you a good sense of where your enemies were spawning. Now what this means is game modes that don't have direct areas that relate to your enemy spawns, like Domination and Demolition. I found myself using this ability to my full potential when I was playing game modes like Team Deathmatch, Free For All, and Kill Confirmed. Another game mode that the Vision Pulse is very useful in is Search and Destroy, and it can mean the difference between life and death in rounds. I found with the Vision Pulse I was able to play much more aggressive in Search and Destroy than you would if you did not have it. The perk that I found that paired very well with Vision Pulse was Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense will indicate the direction of nearby enemies on your minimap if they're within close range to you. This perk combined with your Vision Pulse ability allows for a very keen perception of the map, and where your enemies will be located. Another great perk that can be coupled with the Vision Pulse to add to your map awareness is Tracker. Tracker allows you to see fresh enemy footsteps on the ground as digital imprints for a short period of time and can help you get the drop on your enemies. I found myself not needing overclock with Vision Pulse because you earn Vision Pulse quite fast and if you play the objectives often you're getting a decent amount of kills, you'll earn your Vision Pulse quite quickly. Outrider's specialist weapon is the Sparrow, which is a compound bow with instant impact kill damage, along with explosive radius damage after the bolt has been shot. I would highly recommend the overclock perk while using the Sparrow because I found myself only earning it once to twice a game. The Sparrow is slightly more difficult to use than other specialist weapons because you need a decent sense of accuracy to be good with it. I'd recommend the Sparrow to any player that likes to use sniper rifles or any long range precision weapons. Now the Sparrow can be shot in two different ways. It can either be lobbed with a quick pull of the right trigger, or it can be held down for a long range precision shot. Whenever I found myself in close quarters with enemies, I found it a lot more useful to lob the shots because they're still an instant kill if they hit the target, and even if they don't hit the target, the explosive damage usually does the rest of the work for you. One positive that I noticed with the Sparrow that I didn't see in some of the other specialist weapons was that it's very versatile in all game modes. Whether you'd like to shoot towards objectives and capture points to keep enemies at bay with the explosive damage, or if you'd like to play aggressive and just take your enemies down away from objectives, or just to hunt them down with your weapon because it's a quick kill, it's a very decent weapon in that manner. After using Outrider extensively in-game, I found that the Sparrow was very useful and very versatile in mostly all game modes. It doesn't have any specific game mode it shines in, but it also doesn't have a game mode it performs poorly in. It can be used for defensive or offensive playstyle. As for the Vision Pulse ability, I found that it was very useful for players that take full advantage of map awareness. When stacked with other awareness perks and UAVs and counter UAVs, the Vision Pulse became a very powerful asset. My specialist rating for Outrider is going to be a 20 out of 30, with 5 points out of 10 going into objective play because the Sparrow often lacked the ability to defend objectives, however I found the Vision Pulse to be useful while trying to go for hard points or capture flags in domination. 8 points out of 10 for kill potential because if the Sparrow is in the right hands of an accurate player then it can be a very deadly weapon from a very long distance unlike some of the other specialist weapons. And a 7 out of 10 for fun factor, I found myself having a blast when I would chain together Sparrow kills or get good turn-ons with the Vision Pulse, but more often than not I found myself dying and being frustrated while trying to pull out the Sparrow because of its slow draw time. All in all, I'd recommend Outrider to players that are accurate and like to pick people off from long distances, as well as players that take full advantage of their map awareness. Anyways guys, this is going to wrap up episode 2 of my Black Ops 3 Specialist Guide series. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and comment below of what you think of the series so far. Stick around next time where we're going to be covering Profit. And as always, I'll see all of you beautiful faces tomorrow. Peace out guys.